Sales is the most lucrative skill in the world, period. The problem is most sales advice out there today is outdated, cheesy, and can even keep you from getting the deals that can make all the difference in your career. This is the No BS Sales School, a podcast for entrepreneurs and salespeople who want to master the skill of selling without all the BS. So my guess is that um, you probably already have a plan. You're already working your plan. It is the, I have now like the third week, second week in, uh, in uh, 2023. And you're saying to yourself, holy shit, this year's got to be better than last year. I'm going to do whatever the hell I need to do to make that happen. And you're wondering, okay, what the hell do I do to make that happen? My boss is on my ass. I'm on my ass. I got to get myself going here. Here are three things that I am doing sales-wise, prospecting-wise, to find new business. Maybe you can pick one or two or three of these to help yourself, help you. This should be a quick one. So let's go. Number one, I downloaded all of my first connections from LinkedIn onto a spreadsheet. I have 5,000 and something first connections on LinkedIn. Probably too much to be helpful and effective as first connections, but I've, I've been through that list. I've checked the people that I need to be talking to. Who are the people that I need to reach out to that maybe I've been following for a while, they've been connected with me, that I haven't talked to for a while or maybe ever? And I'm thinking about them and how am I going to reach out using, I'm probably going to use an in-mail to send to them. And if I don't know them at all, tell them I've noticed their profile and I'd love to have a quick conversation, right? Been first connections for a while. I've never talked to you. Like to have a quick business conversation, right? For other people that I have talked to, maybe they've gotten a new job. Maybe they've gone someplace new. I'm going to reach out and congratulate on their new job or whatever they're doing at the new place and find out what are they doing? What's different? What's changed? Right. And maybe they know somebody I need to know. And maybe I know somebody they need to know. Always a good way when you reach out to somebody is to find out how to, who are they looking for? Who are they trying to meet? What would help them? Right. And ask for that before you offer any other, before you ask for help. So LinkedIn LinkedIn first connections, go through your list, check off the ones you need to talk to, and then get to work reaching out to them, either through in-mail or through telephone. If you've got their phone number, call them. Otherwise, send them an in-mail. Number two, I'm going through my dead files. People that I talked to in the last year or two that we ended up not doing business together for whatever reason. They went somewhere else. They did nothing. I blew up the sales call. It wasn't the right time, whatever. I'm reaching out to them and say, hey, last time we talked, everything was going well, or it wasn't the right time for us to work together. I wonder if you're open to have another conversation now. Reach out to your dead files. My guess is there's at least $100,000 in my dead files. My guess there's is at least that much in yours as well. If you just got the guts to pick up the phone and call them, reach out. Don't send a damn email. Pick up the phone. So tired of explaining to people that email is fine for marketing, but if you want to get in touch with somebody, pick up the phone. There's nothing better than the telephone to reach people. And leave a damn voicemail. I don't know why people are so worried about this. I don't don't want to leave a voicemail. I don't know. I've called 15 times. Well, guess what? They can see that you've called 15 times. It shows up on their caller ID. For God's sake, leave a message. Otherwise, you seem like a stalker. Go through your dead files. Number three, I'm reaching out to some of my past clients, people I hadn't talked to in a while. I don't know what they're doing. I guess I can look them up and see what they're doing, but I don't know how they're doing. I don't know if there's something I can help them with. Is there somebody that they know that I need to know? Is there somebody that I know that they need to know? How can you help those folks? Maybe there's a reason to go back and re-engage, even if you screwed up last time, right? We can lose clients because they move on, right? Or because we screwed something up. Reach out. And if they left because you screwed up, apologize. Hey, man, when we worked together last time, I really botched things up. And I don't know that I've apologized to you enough. I just called to give you an apology, tell you I'm sorry. One of this, probably no way in the world we could ever work together again. 
you know what? If you don't call them back, they'll probably feel too awkward to call you. So reach out. It don't cost nothing. Reach out to your past clients. So three things. Download your LinkedIn first connections. Figure out who it is you need to be talking to now. Reach out to me through in-mail or the phone. Number two, go through your dead files. Find those people that you called on over the last year or two or so that didn't do business with you. Maybe they ghosted you. Maybe they just went away. Reach out to them. Find out what happened. See if there's something you can help them with now. Number three, go to past clients or customers. Reach out. Find out what they're doing now, what they like about it, maybe what they don't, and see if there's a way you can help them. I'm Walker McKay with No BS Sales. Go. Keep moving. There's lots of business out there. Thanks for listening to the No BS Sales School podcast. If you haven't already, please take one minute to write a quick review for the show. It really does make a huge difference. Also, subscribe to the show and please forward this episode to somebody else who needs to hear it. As a bonus for listening, I'm going to give you access to a free mini course, Seven Expensive Sales Mistakes You're Making and What You Can Do About It. Go to www.7salesmistakes.com and get access to the free mini course. That's the number seven salesmistakes.com. Thanks again for listening to the OBS Sales School Podcast.